E1, or low E, can tend to be sharp and bright in sound. So to compensate for that, we're going to use a much more open embouchure, dropping the jaw and bringing the corners inward and pouting the bottom lip a little bit so you can see the red part of your lip. We're also going to take less reed in the mouth than the higher ranges. The throat is open and the back of the tongue down, like you're saying, aw. I'm very round and soft in the embouchure. That technique is going to help on low E and all the notes below it. You can see the change in embouchure if I play the upper octave of the E and then the lower octave. To change, I'm pulling the reed out of my mouth, and with it come my lips in a more puckered position. Also potentially helpful for this note is to add the low C sharp key with the left pinky. That's the second key down. That lowers the pitch, darkens the tone a bit. You want to check it to the notes around it so it does match the timbre. Memorizing all your major scales and the three forms of the minor scales can really help you understand the theory of music and it'll help your technique because these scales appear in every piece we play.